Okay, the third transformation that we're going to be learning today is going to be rotation. As its name says, it just means to rotate something, which means to turn something around, okay? So here I have an example of this figure in here, and I rotated the figure 90 degrees to the right, okay? So there's a few terms that we need to know. My center of rotation is this point in here. For all the problems that we're going to do, your center of rotation is always going to be the origin. Here we have the original figure, the original, uh, one of the original sites, and then we have the image, okay? So how many degrees I have from this line to this line? We have 90 degrees, so I move 90 degrees to the right. Now your workbook says several times 90 degrees to the right, to the left, but the actual vocabulary for right or left left is either clockwise or counterclockwise. Okay, clockwise is because if you have a clock and you have your needles, the needle moves to the right, so that's what's called clockwise, because your clock is going this way. And then counterclockwise will be the opposite, which is going on the opposite direction. Okay? Uh, the other thing that you need to know is counterclockwise is what we call a positive angle, and clockwise is what we call a negative angle. So here we're talking about 90 degrees to the right, or we're talking about a negative 90 degree angle, okay, if we wanted to go on the opposite direction. I don't want to overwhelm you, so let's keep it like that. In Math 8, we're going to be talking specifically about three different angles. So we can either do a, if we have a point, uh, this is my center of rotation, and this is point A. I can rotate 90 degrees, so I'm taking this point here, 90 degrees. Okay. We can also do 180 degrees rotation, so if this is my center of rotation, and let's say we have point B here, okay, if I move and I do 180 degrees, this is where my point B prime is going to be located, and then we can also have a 270 degree rotation, so if I have point C, this is my center of rotation, that would be that I need to do a 270 degrees, this would be my point C prime. Okay, so let's see an example in the coordinate plane. See if it helps you somehow to see how this works on a real problem. So we have here the point P uh, who has coordinates 5, 2. And what I'm going to do to trans to rotate this figure is that I'm going to use this strategy that will help you a lot. So your standard of rotation is always going to be, it's always going to be the origin. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create this arm in here, connecting with vertical and horizontal lines, your point with the center of rotation. So what I'm going to do here is, if I'm rotating 90 degrees and a line was vertical, it's going to become horizontal. And if a line was horizontal, it's going to become vertical. So that means that this angle in here, this, this section in here that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units uh, length of five units is going to be now one, two, three, four, five on your y axis. Okay? And then I'm moving two units up, which is going to be two units to the left. I don't know if you can see here how we're rotating this 90 degrees. This section in here is 90 degrees. And this point that we have in here, this new point is going to be the point P prime. And we just rotate it. We could also connect P and P prime, okay, with a center of uh, rotation. And also this angle that we have in here between these two lines is 90 degrees, okay? Now, let's look at the coordinates of P prime. P prime is going to be 1, 2, negative 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, positive 5, okay? That means that we had originally point P, 5, comma 2, and then we're getting a point P prime, 
that is negative 2 comma 5. Now, if you notice, we're talking about the same two numbers, 5 and 2, but they have different uh, locations. If you see your x axis, your, sex, um, your x order pair, became your y coordinate. And what happened with your y? It became its opposite. Okay, so we have in here, if you notice, that's what it says in here. X is going to become your Y axis, sorry, your Y coordinate, and then your Y is going to become X, but it's going to be its opposite. So, for example, if I have a point A, negative uh, 3, comma 2, the point A prime, um, after a 90 degree rotation, we said that your X doesn't change, but it becomes the Y coordinate, so this is going to be your y coordinate and then what happens with your x axis your x coordinate mm -hmm. this value that we have in here it's going to change to its opposite and now it's going to be x so what is the opposite of 2 negative 2 but now this is going to become my x coordinate and that would be a rotation of 90 degrees of a point now let's look at a 180 degrees rotation, okay? 180 degrees rotation, if I think about a, a, a line that's 180 degrees, half a circle is 180 degrees. So if I'm rotating and I'm going to rotate somewhere in this third coordinate, it's going to move one, two coordinates until here somewhere. Again, the best resource that you have is to create this little arm in here. This would be a 90 degree rotation. And then here, this will be 180 degree rotation, okay? If we're moving from here to here, we have 180 degrees. Um, this is moving 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're moving 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2 up, 2 up. This is the new point, P prime, okay? Um, what are the coordinates of P prime? That's going to be negative 5, negative 2. If we connect your P prime with the center of rotation and then P with the center of rotation, notice that we have a straight line that also has 180 degrees, okay? These arms that I do here in blue, they are only to help you out to count. 180 degrees is pretty easy. Like if you can compare, we have P is, let me write this in the top section. point P, it is 5 comma 2, and then P prime is going to be negative 5 comma negative 2. We have the same values, 5 and 5, 2 and 2, but they, instead of writing positive 5 and 2, we have its opposite. So the opposite of 5 is negative 5 and the positive 2 is negative 2. Now, let's see an example we have without the graph, imagine that we have the point B that is negative 4 comma 3. If I want to write the point B prime, according to this formula in here, it says that X stays in the same location, but I write its opposite. What is the opposite of negative 4? Positive 4. And then Y stays the same, but instead of writing Y, I write its opposite, which is negative Y. That's going to be the opposite of 3, negative 3. And that would be the point after a 180 degrees rotation. Last, we have the 270 degrees rotation. Same thing that we have in here. All of these are positive, so we're doing always counterclockwise. I'm going to do this little arm again, and I'm going to rotate this 270 degrees. Okay, how many degrees I have from here till here? This is 270 degrees. Um, if this point in here was a point 5, positive 2, this is going to be the point negative 5 and then positive 2 here. So P prime, it's going to be 2, negative 5. Okay, if we compare, try to find patterns in here, we have the P is 5, comma 2. And then P prime is going to be 2, negative 5. 
Okay, so let's compare here. Your y became your x. Okay, we had two to now change flipped its direction with five, and now it is the first number that you see on your coordinate. Now, what happens with the other value that we have? It was a positive five, and it changed to a negative five. So we're writing its opposite. Okay, that will be the pattern. X will change to its opposite, and it will flip with y. Y stays the same, it only changes its location. So if I have, for example, point C, and let's say that the point C is going to be negative 2 comma negative 7, after a 270 degree rotation, C prime will become, let's see what it says, your X changes to its opposite, okay, so this is your X coordinate, what is the opposite of negative 2? positive 2, but it's changing, it's flipping with y. Okay, what's happening with your y? Stays the same, the only thing that's happening is that it's changing its location, it's flipping with x. So how much is your y? Negative 7, it stays like negative 7, but it's being flipped. Okay, so it's flipping its location with x. And this will be the point after a 270 degree rotation. Again, if you want to check that your word is correct, you can connect your point with the center of rotation, which is always the origin. And then we have from this point to this point a 270 degrees. Okay? Now, those are rotating only points. Let's see how it looks when we have rotating a whole figure, okay? And what I want you to pay attention is how the labels will change when we rotate the figure. So it says parallelogram F, G, H, G, F, G, H, J has vertices F to 1, G7, 1, H6, negative 3, and j1, negative 3. Okay, so this is the figure that is given to you. And the problem says that you need to rotate this figure, let's see what it says, 180 degrees about the origin. Notice that it doesn't say if it is right or left or counterclockwise or clockwise because it doesn't matter. If you go clockwise 180 degrees or you go counterclockwise, you're going to reach the same point. Okay, so first thing that we're going to do, I'm going to use this tool and I'm going to rotate my figures. This point in here would be my F prime. Again, I'm moving 7 and then 1 up. And then if I move in the opposite direction, it's going to be 7 and 1. This is point G prime. Okay, here I'm moving to the next figure, um, 6 and then 3. So if I rotate, this is going to be 6 and then 3. This new point in here is going to be the point H prime. And then J is going to be 1, 2, 1, I'm sorry, 3, 1, 3. This is J prime. We connect the points. Okay, and this will be the rotation of the parallelogram F, G, H, J. I'm going to clean this up a little bit so it is easier to see. Here you go, okay? If we connect any of these points with the center of rotation, which is the origin, we should get a straight line because we're doing an 180 degrees rotation and that should happen with all of them. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try H that is really far away from the center of rotation. We connect H with the origin and then we connect H prime with the origin as well. Yeah, I said them the opposite way. Okay, and then if you notice here, we're creating 180 degrees, a straight line. That's because that's how we're rotating this point all the way to here. Okay, and that would be it. 
Um, there is an easier way to rotate using patty paper where we don't have the tool. Usually what I do is that I explain how to rotate figures using the patty paper, which is like a, a tool, and then you can physically see how the points rotate till you find the pattern, but we don't have the tool anymore. So we need to learn how to rotate them either using the rules that we learned on the other paper. So I will highly recommend you rewrite this down. So when you have to do a problem, you have them. Or also, if you want, if you are allowed to use a graph, then the tool of rotating the arm and actually taking this and rotating this 90 degrees or to 70, that works as well. If you have more questions,